Welcome back to RealVacantLand.com where we have fun buying and selling land. Let's take a look at this one. I'm calling it Walk to Town Land, 499 bucks. It's in a little town called Derma, Arkansas. And it's got a road, power lines, and we'll look at that in a sec. This field in the background is, is the property. So you could just roll up here and start using it. There's no zoning in this county. Chico County or Chicook County or however you say it. Southeastern Arkansas, there's no zoning in this county. There are... Um, uh, codes or I, I can't think of the right word the town has um, ordinances town ordinances against stuff like letting your dog run free without a leash I mean that, that kind of stuff but it doesn't have zoning saying you can build this and you can't build that uh, and it's got to be this shape and that material and like all, all those rules go out the window here so take a look at this and it's just a lot easier to pull off doing what you want to do and uh, it's it's cheap I mean $499. That includes recording, getting the taxes paid, getting it into your name, and uh, going from there. Let's take a look at the taxes on this thing. The taxes on these things are just ridiculously cheap. So this one's $16 a year. Our last tax was $16. $16.28 if you want to be exact. But uh, get the idea on taxes. Okay, so I got some pictures. We got some diagrams. You can see all these pictures and diagrams and things by going to the website. There's a link in the description below to take you back to the website. I'll make sure to get that in there. And um, you can go look and study all these pictures and diagrams and stuff of the website. And then there's a map, my favorite part, what I like to play with the most, like a touchy-feely, go zoom in and out and stuff. It's uh, a lot better map than like Zillow and other websites in my opinion, but feel free to prove me wrong, throw your comments and theories in the, in the comment section or tell me how I can make it better. I'm always open for that. So let's take the Google, yeah, good. The Google guy is, is working here. And so we can zoom in. We can take a look at the land. These were the background pictures. This is North Cross Street. I mean, look at that. The kids could ride bikes up and down the street. There's no cars. No, watch, there's a car over here. <laughs> yeah, there's no cars. Uh, you know, you could like rollerblade. You could play hockey in the street. I mean, you could play basketball. You could do all kinds of stuff in this street. There's just nobody around. Just nobody. Nobody there, and then you got a field, so you could build in this field. This would be your land, and uh, got GPS coordinates of the thing, so you can mark it out. You can walk around it, with, you know, looking at the GPS coordinates on your phone. There's a lot of different apps you can do to go walk around, and see where this property is exactly, or pretty darn close to exact. I'm not, I'm not a surveyor, but like maybe that far off from exact. Um, <clears throat> go, go use technology. You don't have to pay those guys out of the gate. So there's the property, there's some trees, there's a power line over there. I see power lines over there. Where's the power line here? Maybe I overspoke and said there was a power line. There's, I know there's a house right here. There's gotta be a power line around here somewhere. There's a power line here. So they're not very far away. Maybe the power company have to add a, a line or two. Let's see, there's, there's street lights right here. Um. I don't see a transformer. Looks like the vines are going crazy here. Yeah, you gotta call the power company and have them figured out. Maybe that's a transformer. Maybe they could stretch from there over to the property. Maybe they gotta add another pole and a transformer. It looks like there's trash service coming through the neighborhood. I doubt you have to drag the can all the way down to this street. You might just have to make the, tr the trash truck drive a little further. Look, these guys got a basketball court in the driveway. Buried uh, something line here too. That might be a natural gas line. I think there's natural gas line or maybe a telephone line there too. I don't see propane tanks. So maybe there's natural gas in this part of town. Um, okay, so there's a look at it. You can look at this on, on the website. You can play with this map. You can drive up and down the streets and all around the town and everything. And go look at it and see if you like it or hate it or what. Um, I got a buy it now button. I just got that set up on this one a minute ago. So it's 499 bucks. You put your title information in there, what name you want to own the property and your tax address, your contact information, that kind of stuff. And um, we'll go make it happen. We'll get, do up the paperwork to get it in your name, get it recorded, have the county send you the deed after, after they get it recorded. Um, yeah, there's GPS coordinates, and so if you click on the GPS coordinates over here, it'll, it'll take you to the property. You can go take a tour of the property, click on it, and it'll give you driving directions straight to the property and go look at it in person instead of on, on Street View. So I pulled this up. This is uh, like the properties over here, and I, I, I like to show you where Walmart is because not, not that Walmart's the only place you go, but 
there's usually other auxiliary services around Walmart where you can get supplies and other grocery stores and other things that try to compete with them or sell on top of it too because Walmart does a lot of statistics and information on where the market is and that they can go sell stuff. So other stores say, ah, Walmart did the information, we'll just jump on the back of them and follow them around, right? So um, I looked up Walmart, there's a Walmart here in town, but that is not right. That is just like a, a little store calling themselves Walmart. That's not the real Walmart. Real Walmart's up the street a little bit further. But you could walk over here, I mean, it's just like a mile to town and then there's all kinds of stuff in town here. There's town square and um, different uh the, like the lumber store and the bank a couple banks a couple yeah a couple different banks and churches and um green processing and that kind of stuff and this elementary school family dollar and so the real walmart's just up in the next town in mcgee so it's the southern end of of mcgee and the town is eight miles away it's 15 minutes to go to that one if you want to go up to that uh that 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 walmart but, I mean, you could do Family Dollar and stuff right here in town. You can just walk to it. You can walk to a lot of the town right there. So, I think that makes these properties a lot more usable, user-friendly to be able to walk to stuff. I love, I love walking to restaurants and the bank and the post office kinds of things. I love that aspect of where I live. And um, I think a lot of people don't realize how nice that is to be able to have a, a walkable services in the area. Um, I'm always promoting properties out in the middle of nowhere, but uh, it's gonna be really convenient to be able to lock the stuff. You don't have to get in the car all the time. So come take a look at this property on ruralvacantland.com. Got directions on here, the gas station, um, hamburgers, shop, and you know, just the local, local, some of the local services. And thank you, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll keep them coming. Thank you, bye.